Buckingham Palace, the iconic symbol of the British monarchy, stands as a testament to the centuries of history, tradition, and regal grandeur. Nestled in the heart of London, this majestic palace has witnessed the flow of British history, serving as the primary residence of the British sovereigns since the reign of Queen Victoria. The evolution of Buckingham Palace is a journey through political changes, architectural marvels, and the personal lives of the royal family. The story of Buckingham Palace begins in the early 18th century with the construction of Buckingham House. In the year 1703, the Duke of Buckingham, John Sheffield, commissioned architect William Windy to build a grand townhouse in Westminster. The mansion, originally known as Buckingham House, was completed in the year 1705, and served as a private residence for the Duke and his family. The location was strategic, situated on the outskirts of London and surrounded by gardens. The turning point for Buckingham House came in the year 1761, when King George III acquired the property as a private residence for his wife, Queen Charlotte. The King was drawn to the house's expansive grounds and sought to establish a retreat away from the bustling city of London. Subsequent monarchs, including George IV and William IV, made various alterations to the building, gradually transforming it into a more regal residence. The most significant transformation of Buckingham House into a palace took place during the reign of King George IV. The king enlisted renowned architect John Nash to reimagine the structure and create a palace befitting the stature of the British monarchy. Nash's ambitious plans included expanding the building, incorporating grand facades, and adding the iconic marble arch entrance. The architectural metamorphosis reflected the extravagant tastes of the time, with neoclassical and romantic elements. The ascension of Queen Victoria in the year 1837 marked a pivotal moment for Buckingham Palace. Under the guidance of Queen Victoria and her consort, Prince Albert, the palace underwent further enhancements, both in terms of aesthetics and functionality. The addition of the East Wing and the famous balcony were among the notable alterations. Victoria's choice to make Buckingham Palace her official residence solidified its status as the principal royal residence. The Victorian era saw Buckingham Palace become a symbol of imperial grandeur. Queen Victoria, the matriarch of the British Empire, utilized the palace as a focal point for state ceremonies, public appearances, and diplomatic events. The state rooms were designed to impress dignitaries and showcase the wealth and influence of the British monarchy. The palace's role as a stage for imperial pageantry reached its height during Victoria's Diamond Jubilee celebrations in the year 1897. Buckingham Palace weathered the storms of the 20th century, including two world wars that brought unprecedented challenges. During World War II, the palace suffered bomb damage, but the resilience of the monarchy and the symbolic significance of the palace remained intact. The image of King George IV and Queen Elizabeth Later, the Queen Mother, inspecting the bomb-damaged areas, endeared the palace to the public and conveyed a sense of solidarity during trying times. The post-war period saw extensive restoration efforts to repair the damages inflicted on Buckingham Palace. Modern amenities were introduced to accommodate the evolving needs of the royal family. The palace gradually opened its doors to the public, allowing visitors to explore selected areas and experience the majesty of the staterooms. In the 21st century, Buckingham Palace continues to evolve in response to changing societal expectations and the role of the monarchy. The palace serves as a hub for official ceremonies, state banquets, and diplomatic receptions. Simultaneously, the royal family's efforts to adapt to a more transparent and relatable image have prompted discussions about the palace's role in contemporary society. Over the years, Buckingham Palace has embraced a more inclusive approach by opening its doors to the public during specific times of the year. 
The popular summer opening of the staterooms allows visitors to experience the palace's grandeur, explore its history, and witness the exquisite art and furnishings held within. Buckingham Palace has become an iconic cultural symbol, featuring prominently in literature, film, and popular imagination. The changing of the guard ceremony, held daily during the summer months, draws crowds from around the world. Additionally, significant events such as the royal weddings and jubilees hosted at the palace capture global attention, solidifying its status as a symbol of tradition. Buckingham Palace is actually a living testament to the resilience of the British monarchy, the adaptability of tradition, and the enduring allure of regal splendor. In the 21st century, the palace stands not only as a physical residence, but also as a cultural touchstone, symbolizing the evolving relationship between the monarchy and the people it serves. As Buckingham Palace continues to be a beacon of history and heritage, its legacy remains intertwined with the ongoing narrative of the British monarchy.